Come quickly. Hello. How are you? Oh, nice to see you, my angel. Thank you. I'm sorry, my dog. Come, Benji. Out of the way. This is nice. Spike. What's your dog's name? Spike. Spike. Hello, Spike. I'm his boy. Yes. Hey. Isn't she beautiful? Look at mine. This is puppy. This is pretty puppy. Who is? Can I say hello to Spike? Say hello to Spike hello. there. That's puppy. Spike's a little shy. I found this dog in the lower main road, running between trucks. This is Freddy. <laughs> Freddy has come from a play. People have gone back to live in England, and they didn't want to put the dogs in the quarantine. Yeah. This is Mandy, another one who a lady saw me walking with my Bedington and said she wanted me to have it. That's Benji. Yes. Benji. Benji. Say hello, Benji. And there's Judy, named after Judy Page, and Pavarotti's floating, looking for work. This is my friend Farid. Yeah. Hedy. This Hello, is Farid. Hedy. Farid's also a singer. Right. And uh, he dances. Who's at, yeah. at the gate? Right. Come inside. I want to show you my, my house. Isn't this a beautiful it's Victorian? It's uh, 100 years old. I like this. Um... The Frisia. Yeah. I put it up there. It's, uh, it's semi plastic, but the main thing is. Semi plastic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's lovely. And this is my. Um, is this your entertainment room? This is the parlor. This oh. is the parlor. Uh, in the old days, this is where the romances used to be arranged. Right. You know, the, the young man used to come in and and um, uh, actually do the proposing in the parlor. This is oh, true. Okay. So that he would never be alive in the rest so of the house. Always, always just here. Right. And there's a picture of my mother, oh, wow. and my Love granny. Isn't you a pretty woman, yes. hey? And my granny, she was also a very respected member of Cape Town. Uh, she did a lot for the people, the poor people. And she, she opened a house called the Nanny House, which is the nanny house, mm. and looked after girls who had babies, who had no parents, and all this sort of thing. Really? Anyway, and that's my mother and father when they got married. And I think that's a lovely... He used to look like Clark Gable when he was young. Yeah, he did. Uh, and he was a very good-looking man. And my mother also very special. And that's my grandfather. He's French. His surname was Ravel. And uh, he was a very uh, special man. The fact remains is my piano is being uh, tuned, so the whole thing has gone all a bit dear macabre. And um, nice piano. Isn't it a beautiful piano? Yes. Uh, it's it really is a magnificent piano. It's a magnificent one. And uh, what else can I tell you? There's Marilyn Monroe. This was a, my childhood. There was no one like Marilyn. I was 12 years old, I went into Grotesky Hospital for an operation, mm -hmm. and I thought if I die in this operation, it was just for a little hernia, and I mm -hmm. thought if I die, all I want is Marilyn to come and just kiss me goodbye. That was really? my dream. You know, all, yes, Spike, this is a very true story, because Marilyn and I had a relationship as young people. It's true. Please don't disagree with me, please. Anyway, the main thing is, is that she really was special to my life. Yeah. And these are all little bits of knickknacks. I bought this at a second-hand shop. Isn't this beautiful, Heidi? It's lovely. Uh, do you it's, use it in your act? No, no, I use it. You know, I have wonderful singers. Uh, and I've got a whole lot of costumes here, right. which uh, I use. Uh, and things just... Now, I loan this to my niece, and they forget to return things. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so that's why it's chucked in the room. It shouldn't be here. And this is my lovely hand. There's Elizabeth Taylor waving goodbye to me. And <laughs> come in, and that's the part. And then this is the passage. Wow. And there's my, isn't this beautiful? Yeah. This is, uh, I did a wonderful show called Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Junker. And I played the part of the, the, the king, the pharaoh. And I saw this in a shop in Cork Bay. And I went in and this thing was calling me. It's like I had to have it. <laughs> and it cost a lot of money, but I went into Beverly Hills a month ago to, a, a, to the Beverly Hills shopping center. And they wanted like five times the price okay. I paid for it. So uh, I'm very lucky to have this beautiful thing here. Yes, it is. Isn't that a magnificent thing? Yeah. Then I also have, uh, come inside and now, one of my favorite artists is Tretchikov. You know, he really is a, 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 a wonderful artist and I, I respect him and admire him. And what's more important, I met him about 30 years ago what? in Johannesburg when I was a, a young man on the up and coming and, we, and I was doing cabaret at the Landros Hotel and he was there to watch my cabaret. Oh. So I was very pleased. Right. And uh, this one is all secure. This is the Ten Commandments. And uh, some, of them, some of them have been signed by him. Yeah. But um, he really is a, a wonderful visualizer. Mm. And, uh, and I don't know, the people tell me he preceded Andy Worrell. Uh, you can see that even my other work, I love things 
that have passion and energy. And, and uh, this was a young student from Cape Town uh, University. Oh. And uh, his work is uh, like special. I wonder what's happened to him. But there's a whole story there. He kept one. It was a, a set of four. Mm. And he kept one for himself. And, uh, and all these cars are my friend Farid. He collects all the cars. And, He's uh, got a nice collection, yeah. by the way. You know, these are, these are some of my... Uh, my performers oh. who work for me, these were the wonderful dancers. I'm going to try and get them on South African television. Mm. These are my dancing girls. And, um, but I, I'm really wow. in a wonderful... Show business is such a special world. Right. You know, show business is... Uh, there's that, that, that feather boa. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it really is um, a lovely world to be part of, yeah. Heidi. I did this wonderful show here. We got Joseph and the Dreamcoat. In, in Johannesburg. I wonder what this is. This is good work too. This is from the South African Airways calendar. Um, this is called Big Deal by Robert Hodgkins. Oh, so you still do it, Joseph? Uh, this oh, yeah. I did. I did this for the carnival in in in, uh, in Pretoria in 1996. Right. But I go up, I direct it, and I. I I sort of do as much as I can to make everything while I was walking along the banks of the river. Oh, it's seven fat cows it came out of the Nile. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was a wild rock and roll number. Anyway, but the people got more turned on with the body. The hips were then... Like I, could still, I could still move these, but now... But didn't you have, you, you have little socks to help you? Socks? Well, it was more uh, what one would call a yard of socks. Because there was... And then I used to, uh, I used to, uh, I used to fit it in. The, 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 <laughs> anyway, and this beautiful cupboard I bought at an auction. There's a beautiful thing from America. Isn't that a yes. magnificent statue? Yes, uh, it's an Indian with his uh, ah. with a bull, the bull hunt. Hey, what do they call it? The boar, the boar hunt. Hey. Oh, okay. I don't. Know and look at. Do you know Michael Feinstein? Yes, I do. Hey, my best man in the whole world. I like him my a lot. best man. There's no one. The, 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 if ever I would like to have to somebody I admire. Mm. As a singer. What's he up to nowadays? I don't know. He was doing a show with Rosemary Clooney in London at the London Palladium. I'm trying to sell these two uh, guitars. <laughs> this is uh, my records I've been collecting since I was wow. since I was 12. Wow. Uh, I've got uh, quite a couple of thousand old peas here. There's all the interview magazines, my Andy Warhol magazines are all up the top there. Wow. Then I've got all film magazines from the 50s and 60s. Uh, I collect, I didn't mean to collect, but it just happened. Right. And, and my records became my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, my. Uh, you could, you could get locked in this room forever. Yeah, I, I really, I long to have that day. Mm. But that day doesn't happen where I can quietly enjoy. Mm -hmm. The sad thing is, as you get older, you'll, it goes faster and, and, and I don't have time. Man. This is my oh, sad thing. I, I'm sad about it because I really would like to uh, enjoy my life a little bit more. Yeah. Meaning, uh, but I'm blessed. Funny. Wasn't she wonderful? Look at that lovely face mm. and special girl that. Oh, so she did have underwear on. They said she didn't. No, that was Sharon Stone wearing that. Marilyn always, you know, uh, she wasn't a, a bad girl yeah. for the '60s. She was, she was a. Sick. I think that's why the people loved her uh -huh. because she was seemed to be done by. Right. She was done by. See, so this is uh, another wonderful oh, artist, Gregoire Bunzai, yeah. and. Uh, and this is my friend Larry Scully, who also is a, a, a wonderful artist. Uh, I love I, I love art. I didn't know I was going to have all this in my life. You know what I mean? But some other you 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 uh, you plan things and it happens. And I broke through in my kitchen and I built this room upstairs. Everything here is just like beautiful. Everything is hey, have a Just relax. I like this. Oh, they beautiful. Uh, also an auction. Uh, oh, that's Pavarotti. Just let him say, uh, let him smell, and then it'll relax. Let him just smell once, and then he'll say, fine. That's Pavarotti. Pavarotti is the nightmare of the house. Pavarotti thinks that he runs the place, and uh, now nah, just relax. Otherwise, you go back in the room. Anyway, <laughs> and this is my uh, sort of so-called life. I've had a 
and we've had terrible rainstorms, so all the, uh, the, the couches are a little bit up in dear my car. Um, well, it, it, it's, you know, when it rains sort of very hard, mm. uh, I bought this woman in Johannesburg at a, at a, show, at a store. Really? And, uh, say? How did you get it back here? I, I, oh. I came back by train and I oh. booked a coupe and she slept up, she slept upstairs <laughs> on the top of the rack and I slept at the bottom. And this is all from an auction, all these beautiful, uh, these beautiful dolls, aren't They're they? All nice. original, handmade. <laughs> Uh, one, you know what I mean? It, it really is a, a special. I'm so lucky. Is this Mandela? That's Mandela, That's which I've said it, it, uh, it should be hanging nicer, but I, I sort of climb up there and hang by myself, so it's all a bit spooky. You know, when you're going through the change of life, these things don't, uh, <laughs> these things don't just sort of come so easily. <laughs> right. And uh, here's a lovely Andy Warhol uh, from the movie Quirrell, which. Uh, Brad Davis did. Mm. It was a lovely actor, Brad Davis. You remember mm -hmm. he was in that movie Midnight Express? Mm -hmm. What happened to him? Yeah. I think he died, died of the AIDS, yeah. Mm -hmm. About uh, four years ago. Really? Yeah. And um, <coughs> and this is all the Gamoral here. Um, I like this room a lot. It's, it's, I'm longing to come up and tidy it. I can't get here. Right. Here's my beautiful band. Um, isn't this too special? Mm-hmm. I, um... Dixieland being I didn't intend to become this collecting man. I really didn't. It just happened. Uh, it just sort of happened. You must come up and see my view here, Eddie. Just climb up the stairs and look at... I wish there was more of Cape Town. Wow. But there's such a... a, a we really are in the most beautiful city in the whole world. I, I, By I'm, far. Hey, By don't far. you agree? Yep. I've been so lucky, I am the boy without a care. I want to sing it out to Pavarotti. What a joy, what a life, what a chance. So I'll say thank you for the music. Ooh, and then the little puppy gets all for air. Okay, no, enough. You know, it can't handle any anybody else taking over my... Uh, my vibe, hey? Really? <coughs> and uh, I'm just... Where did you find most of these? Like, these are like... I don't know. I really mean this very, now. Very it's really, it's, it's, it's expensive, America. yes. Yeah. So I'm lucky. I find it and I look and somebody, you know, if there's the hand broken, somebody won't buy it. I buy it. Then I fix the hand or right. I make it. That's, that's the, the joy. Mm. Otherwise, it's... it's uh, now, some, a bird flew in the other and broke about ten of my... Oh. my little men yeah. so i was very upset about that because uh, they mean a lot to me these things and there's my marilyn dolls up the top there wow. hey that's also Ooh. special uh and james dean it's like the, it's it's really <laughs> it's, anyway <laughs> you got enough collection of uh, cds there eh? and my cds well it TV. involves everybody yeah. do you know the music of kismet mm -hmm. hey not oh. another word what is kismet Kismet. Fate. Yeah. Hey? A lovely, lovely show. I, I, one of my very first shows I ever did. And what's that song? And this is my beloved Dawn's promising skies Petals on a pool drifting uh, Harry Belafonte Tu stabas a garo Tu stabas a garo Yo te es yamini la mini las horas Yamini las horas Porcha arriba, arriba, arriba This is when he did, uh, well, what's it? La Bamba And oh. he sings with Miriam Akeba on, yeah? Right. What do they drink? Darling, go home Your husband is ill e Is he ill? Let them give him a pill Oh, come, my dear friends Just one more dance I know a thousand songs I've got songs to s I really mean that I'm quietly going off my head as I get older. You must admit I wasn't a, quite a dish, eh? Anyway, you were. For it to, but it's part of... I see the sock, the infamous sock. The, the sock there. Right. Well, those are the Tesh range. When I first went out <laughs> as, a, as a soloist, as a young man, in the place called Kai Lami Ranch, and um, uh, wow. I always remember, I was about 28, 29 there, mm -hmm. but I'm still doing what I love doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this is important, yeah. right? To to, uh, to enjoy. Uh -huh. You must see the view outside you. Come and have a look at that. Just come and look at the mountain. Isn't that special? 
very nice. Hey, and the snack piece for it. Hey, it really is like special. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so lucky. Ah, I keep on saying that, but uh, you have to be grateful for what happens to you. And uh, listen, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. I've, I've struggled for many years mm. to become a performer. Hey, puppy, are you sick to let go? Where are you going to go then? Puppy, come here. <laughs> Where's this pretty girl going? Pavarotti, get off there. Get off there. Everyone with talking say ya. Hey, hey, yeah. Spike, yeah, it's a, it's, is this your property too? This is my the the, the, the <coughs> roof of my house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, we standing now on top of my kitchen. You know, I I left Cape Town in the late fifties because South Africa was really going through a bad time, and um, there was nothing uh, for me. There was no future, and my mother. Thank God my mother uh, saw something and said, no, we must go to live in Rhodesia. Really? And uh, my sister was up there at the age of 19. And I went up, I was 17. And my sister came back and I stayed. And I've been on my own so, since I was 17. It's a long time. Eh? Yeah. It's a long time. But I learned who I was as a person. Uh, and. In the 50s, Cape Town was a sad place. It, yeah. it was beautiful, but sad because the government was really like an evil government. Mm. Evil, evil, evil. And uh, anyway, thank God I got, I met some wonderful people. I will never forget my 21st birthday I had in the Scout Hall in Jamison Avenue in Salisbury. And the friends I have, I had there then, are mm. still my friends today. Wow. We correspond, we, and we, and it's wonderful. I'm right. just, I'm blessed. Anyway, I was there until I was 28, 29. I used to sing in the, at the Reps Theatre in Salisbury, in Zimbabwe, or what they call it now, Harare. And then Joan Brickhill passed through mm. and uh, saw me in a show and said, if ever I want to turn professional, uh, Give her she will help me. Right. And uh, thank God for Joan, because uh, I came down to Durban and I worked for Payne Brothers, which was I was, I was a, a salesman in a show. Clothing shop, mm. and um, and uh, thank God for Joan because she helped me. I, I did a show for uh, Steer Kinnikal, which was then African Consolidated Theatres, and I was part of a wonderful show called Robert and Elizabeth. Then Minstrel Scandals, Fiddle on the Roof, wow. South Pacific. In each show was a, a chorus boy, and I'm singing and singing. Right. And then I went off and did my own thing at Kailami Ranch. I was a uh, Kailami Ranch was like a wonderful night spot in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. and this was the only club. Uh, in the 70s, uh, which was really like a, like it was like the leader. It was like a very elegant and I had my dancing girls and feathers. Right. And, yes, and it really was like a special time because they um, they were special girls uh, uh, and good people. You know, the 70s was such a special time. A bad time for South Africa, but a special time for me as a young man because right. I had to learn, I had to make do. I get a little bit wary because a lot of people say, uh, but what did you do in the struggle? And I think while well, I was struggling during the struggle, I was struggling to find work. Uh, Pass up, please. You because your own struggle going on. <laughs> close the door when you come in, otherwise the birds come in. I'm very nervous of this uh, Dixie game down the. Anyway, is it all right? So then, uh, you see, so what happened here? I struggled. Uh, to get a job, and thank God, uh, I was approached by uh, the Performance Art Council, and they said they were doing a show called Joseph and the Amazing Technique of the Dreamcoat, and I was lucky enough to get a part in that show. Um, I that played was the. Huh? That was what we'll put you on the map. Eh? Well, that's what changed my life. Yeah. I think every performer longs for something to happen to them, yeah. and um, I was very lucky to be in that show. Uh, I did it for nearly 2,000 performances over 10 years. Wow. Uh, well, it, it was a, a, it really was a special time. Just we turn this down. Angels cheer because we're together. Weather wise, it's such a lucky day. Isn't this a voice? Who is this? And the birds down to our couple Cold Bay. 
It's perfect for a flying sing honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly. Come dance with me. I don't know who you are, but time you had a rest anyway. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got rid of that man. But Joseph changed South African theatre because all of a sudden there was an energy. Mm. And uh, everybody uh, became a, a, a performer as a result of being in that show. You know what I mean? Wow, yeah. Richard Loring. Richard Loring, Bruce Miller. Uh, Alan Garrity, J.D. Wayne. This is my bedroom. Uh, there's a picture of my friend Heidi's uh, oh, house in the tell. middle there. <laughs> That's the tall building. Is your, it's your, your one bedroom suite yeah, there oh, at the top. That's my best. And uh, this is my. Uh, uh, hey! You see what this guy's on? Yeah. See a guy in the morning. And it's jealous because yeah. of, of this thing. Anyway. And there's my friend's uh, <laughs> Right on. <laughs> you have a hell of a fancy? What does that mean? Are you talking about the, the, the one from A to B? Oh. Really? I'm talking to my friend Neil McPherson. I'm, I'm facing the camera now. My friend Bernard was doing a, 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 a recce on my face. He's going, up, getting, he's going up my nose and getting the snot and the doilies and everything out here. Put your <laughs> anyway, so, so that is... What must we do? Can't you copy it now? And then do you actually get all... I guess you do. I, was gonna I get up there sometimes. There's the pink fur, the brown fur, the grey fur. And then here's some of the... The, the the costumes. <laughs> I've been I've been I've been so lucky. I got five hundred sequin rocker here, <laughs> and uh, uh, it all it still looks good, but uh, it, it's hard to uh, to. Uh, isn't this beautiful? Isn't wow, this that is. That's that really. Oh. I feel I feel how heavy it is, eh? Don't you sweat on No, I, I, listen, I'm known as one of Africa's top sweaters. Really? I've been sweating all my life. <laughs> uh, do you know something? I've never been employed by the, except in Johannesburg, by the, by the Performing Arts Council. Mm. But um, in, in Cape Town, where I'm from and born, nobody ever employed me here. So I uh, do no, my own pity. show. It's, it's a pity. pity. Because I... It's sad. It is. But they that, don't even support. And then when you go off on your it. own and make it yeah. like um, Charlie's Tehran, and yes. then they, they yes, something they wrong. Call them losers yes. And yes, and what did they call her? They called her a. a, a they called her a, a bad name in the paper. Yes, you know? likely. Uh, yeah, not happy for it. No, at all. it is so. I find it so sad. You know, as long as your own values are, are in the right field. I, I look at a lot of things. I've been down so many roads right. and been knocked and bashed, but through that they built a person who is actually, I'm all right with myself mm. now. But I'm just aware that a lot of people did very uh, Aina things to me, mm. Aina things. And those, I'm still doing what I love doing. <laughs> I'm so proud of that because I think every performer's dream is to do a show where there's lovely girls around him. Yeah. But I've done it now for 30 years. Eh? Why don't you take your actors to Vegas or something? No, they laugh at you if you go there. They've got their own. How I wished that maybe this something will happen. Yeah. Something will happen.